Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Bethany and I'm a full-time colour pencil artist. I have just hopped on here because I have just filmed a video all about Instagram for my patrons and it's for my business patrons here and it's a deep dive into everything to do with Instagram. I don't really talk about the stories as much because I'm going to do a separate video on that but if you would like to get to know the sort of real ins and outs of Instagram, it's a very in-depth long video and I go through everything I know that's got me from zero followers to 40 over 45,000 followers and I've grown about 20,000 followers in a year so if you'd like to know how I've done that as an artist then hop on over to my patreon I will put the link below I will um, be inserting some clips here of the sort of things that I talk about and um, so if you would like to see that then come on over and I will see you guys over there but for now lots of love take good care of yourself stay safe and i will see you very very soon for another real time draw with me or whatever i feel like filming next lots of love bye. bye instagram let's get straight to it because there's no point in being around the bush instagram and social media is important what are people gonna see when they initially find you what are you like who are you presenting what do you want to present to the world what do you want to present to instagram is keep it relevant what I mean by this is not only you know keep it relevant to what you're trying to promote, what you're trying to produce, but also if you when you go on Instagram, it depends on how uh, the person the account is laid out. So sometimes you can see th the top three lines. So under the um, someone's bio, they you either see the top three lines of photos or the top six, depending on whether they've got like story highlights and things like that. No. The senior lecturer, when we spoke about Instagram, she said the top three are always the most important and now I really understand why because they are the thing that they're going to, they're almost like your shop front, they're almost like the thing that are, you know, are going to make people scroll. So what content is that on your top three photos? Obviously as we've established it's a very visual platform, it's brilliant for artists and creative people who want to share and um, sort of inspire and share their work and things like that. You need to establish exactly why you are using the platform. So is it to gain customers? Is it to gain um, con like content, more sort of inspiration um, from other artists? Do you want to inspire other artists or creative people? Um, do you want, as I say, customers, clients uh, to get more commissions maybe? Do you want to use it as a shop front? Um, do you want to use it as like um, a, a way to connect with other like-minded artists or creative people you know and obviously like if you are trying to get more customers then maybe you could be posting saying that you've got um space like commission space um and giving people sort of like a, a way of finding you that way say for instance you are more focused on connecting with other like-minded creative people and artists then use your platform to engage with those people like how are they going to find you how are they, you know are you, how are you going to engage with them how are you going to ask them questions in your description are you going to you know ask questions in your posts or you know so you need to establish um first of all your why two forms of hashtags and i'm just going to use me and the way i work with my instagram for an example so i tend to use say for example i'm drawing a horse so like um, the one the one i'm working on at the moment is Huli. So working on Hooli, he is a chestnut horse, he's a thoroughbred, he's an ex race horse, but he's also, I'm drawing in him colour pencils, I'm drawing him um, with uh, watercolour paper, it's a, it's a drawing and things like that. So there's two almost areas of different hashtags you can use. So when I talk about the size of the hashtag, what I generally mean is when you click on a hashtag, it will come up with, you know, X amount of posts. Like I mentioned before, pencil drawings, I think my last look had like 12.9 million posts to it, which is a huge, huge hashtag. So the chances are of you getting seen or your, you know, if you click on a hashtag, it will come up with top on one side and recent on the other. The chances of you coming up on a top like on on the top area of that is very very slim very slim if not slightly impossible um whereas if you were to try and go for a smaller hashtag something like um now i really really wouldn't recommend doing that first of all because as i said the people who are going to be using and looking at that the chances are they are already artists and are already they're not your customers you know it might be good for you to get a few followers but that's about it um, so again, it comes back to your why. If you want to do, if you want to have a platform where you are big on numbers, great, go for it. But if you actually want sort of content and quality and customers, then I wouldn't recommend doing that because I do think it's a little bit of a scam. Hashtags are a bit controversial, I think, because um, I know years and years ago, 
when I first started on Instagram, hashtags were a big thing. It was like follow, hashtag follow for follow, like for like. And I think they got a bit of a bad rep and I know a lot of people stopped using them because they felt like it was a bit of a, like, um, I don't want to say like a really sad thing to do, but I feel like people stopped using it because they thought they were a bit pointless. And I want to tell you right now, ignore those people. Hashtags are so important when growing on Instagram. One of the most important things is obviously quality over quantity. So I, I mean, for example, I like to post once a day, at least once a day, um, but I won't post more than, well, sometimes I'll post twice a day if I've got something I really need to tell everyone, but generally I post once a day and I try and keep that into like a set rhythm. Um, I know it's, you know, it depends on who you speak to, it depends on who you're listening to. Some people tell you that it doesn't really matter what time of day you post, other people tell you that the time of day you post on Instagram is really, really important. It's supposed to be quite spontaneous. I don't really like to put that much thought into them. I don't really like to spend more than sort of like five, ten minutes doing an Instagram post, unless it's something I really need to focus and sort of like and explain and say or like anything like that. But if it's just a general post, I tend not to think about it too much. And I think the more you overthink Instagram, the more you become a chore and you never want your social media to be a chore because then it can just become sort of like another job and it should never be another job. It should be something that you enjoy and you enjoy being on that platform. Focus on the analytics. So it gives me a full breakdown of wherever my followers are in the world, what their demographic is, what their age is, what their gender is, you know, what time they're most active, what time, you know, they're most, um, on their phones you know do you know what i mean like all those sort of like analytics it breaks them all down for me and gives them to me and it keeps it really really current so it allows me to know what you know that my audience is more active in the evenings compared to at a sort of like 3 p.m in the afternoon and the response that instagram showed me for that i mean i could post i think on your normal instagram you can post a video of up to a minute whereas on igtv you can post between i think it's one minute and ten minutes or up to ten minutes when you use all sort of Instagram features that it's offering you, for some reason it seems to give you a lot more um, engagement. So one of the other things I would say is that it is super, super important to connect with your followers, to be engaging, to ask them questions maybe, to, you know, at the end of the day, they're following you for a reason. You want to try and keep them. You want to try and keep them. You want to inspire them. You want to, you know, just keep them regular with content. It's super important to for people to trust you. So, I mean, I've had people on my Instagram for about three, four, five years maybe who have followed me from like, the very very early days who are now coming to me saying I watched you evolve I've watched you sort of grow as an individual and a business and now five is down the line I would love for you to do a, a portrait of my horse so you know they you've got to almost prove to your customers and your the people that follow you that you're not just a one-trick pony that you're here for longevity you're here to deliver good quality content that they can sort of trust you buying into you as a person not just buying into the work you produce they'll see that you're a real person that you aren't just this machine that can produce artwork they get to know your personality they get to know um you know little things about you that you know obviously i don't think you should be telling them everything and there's, you know, obviously you need to keep your distance you need to keep you know a professional level um but one of the biggest things that's helped me grow is giving more of a personal side to my Instagram. So whether it's on stories, whether it's what I'm up to during the day, whether it's sort of being a bit more raw with the Instagram posts that I'm putting up there. But as always, please let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to see on a sort of on a business level, what sort of things that you'd be interested in watching. If there's anything I've covered that you'd like me to go into more detail about, then do let me know. And um, I, yeah, I mean, apart from that, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. and. Hope you have a really good rest of your day, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.